The prevalent means of connecting to the Internet in Germany is DSL, introduced by Deutsche Telekom in 1999. Other technologies such as cable, FTTH and FTTB fiber, satellite, UMTS, HSDPA mobile, and LTE are available as alternatives. Topic DSL in Germany, DSL is the prevalent Internet access technology with over 30 million subscribers. For residential services the Annex B versions of ADSL, ADSL2+, and VDSL2 are used. With over 12 million customers the incumbent Deutsche Telekom is the market leader. Other DSL providers either operate their own hardware on local loops rented from the incumbent in a local loop unbundling LLU arrangement, and or purchase bit stream access from a provider that operates DSL hardware. As of January 2014, a typical monthly cost for dual flat rate internet and telephone service start at €25 Euros for ADSL2 Plus 16 megabits per second downlink, 1 megabit per second uplink, and €30 Euros for VDSL2 50 megabits per second downlink, 10 megabits per second uplink. Some of the major nationwide DSL providers are Deutsche Telekom, Kongstar One, and One Vodafone. O2 Versatel providers such as Deutsche Telekom and Vodafone also offer DSL based triple play services with IPTV, which requires at least 16 megabits per second for HD quality. Starting in 2013, all newly deployed Deutsche Telekom VDSL2 nodes support G. Vector technology. Beginning in August 2014, vectored VDSL2 service with data rates of up to 100 megabits per second downlink and 40 megabits per second uplink is available from Deutsche Telekom. Existing VDSL2 deployments in major cities will be upgraded to G. Vector in 2016. Deutsche Telekom is planning to introduce 500 megabits per second service using G-Fast in 2017 at the earliest. Symmetric DSL (SDSL) connections using G.SHDSL technology are marketed to business customers. Providers offering SDSL include Deutsche Telekom, QSC, and Versatel. Topic Alternative technologies While DSL is the prevalent connection technology in Germany, other technologies may offer lower prices or better availability and speed. Cable Internet via cable is offered by Kabel Deutschland and Unity Media separated geographically. Additionally there are some small providers as well which do not operate nationwide. The typical available download speed is between 10 and 200 megabits per second. In April 2015 Tele Columbus started offering up to 400 megabits per second. A typical two-year tariff with 120 megabits per second internet and telephone costs about 35 euros per month, with additional HD cable TV about 60 euros. Since November 2014 both Unity Media and Kabel Deutschland offer connections with up to 200 megabits per second in downstream. Unity Media started its 400 Mbit.s connections in January 2016, Vodafone Kabel Deutschland offers 400 Mbit.s since June 2016. FTTH and FTTB Deutsche Telekom started offering FTTH, FTTB in select regions in 2011, with up to 200 megabits per second downstream and 100 megabits per second upstream. As of January 2014, Deutsche Telekom FTTH was available in 884,000 households, at a price point of €55 Euros for 150ths of a megabit per second and €60 Euros for 200 of a megabit per second service. Regional providers also offer FTTH, FTTB services, e.g. Mnet in Munich, Wilhelm.tel in Hamburg, Netcologne in Cologne, and Netahan in Aachen. Topic: 
Topic: Satellite. Satellite internet is geographically more widely available than land-based technologies. In places where land-based Internet Access Technology DSL, cable, FTTX is not available, satellite and UMTS, LTE are the primary means of high-speed Internet access. As opposed to UMTS, LTE, satellite Internet providers offer flat rates. <laughs> UMTS, HSDPA and LTE Deutsche Telekom and Vodafone offer fixed location Internet service on their UMTS and LTE networks. As of December 2014, there are no flat rates available. The included data volume is generally higher for fixed location service than for mobile service at the same price point. As of December 2014, both Deutsche Telekom and Vodafone limit the speed to 384 kilobits per second after the data volume of between 10 and 30 gigabytes is used up. UMTS HSDPA with up to 42.2 megabits per second and LTE with up to 375 megabits per second is offered by all four network operators: Deutsche Telekom, Vodafone, O2, and E+. In 2013, CHIP measured average downstream UMTS, GPRS data rates of between 2.4 and 7.9 megabits per second and average downstream LTE, UMTS, GPRS data rates of between 3.2 and 16.0 megabits per second, depending on both provider and location rural versus city. In the same test, LTE coverage was measured at between 15% and 80%, depending on provider and location rural versus city. A typical two-year contract with 2 GB of LTE speed, unlimited minutes and texts costs around €40 Euros per month. History Until 1995, Deutsche Telekom DTAG was a government corporation linked with Deutsche Bundespost. As a government-run and owned corporation, Deutsche Telekom was the monopoly ISP until its privatization in 1995, and the dominant ISP thereafter. Until the 21st century, Deutsche Telekom controlled almost all Internet access by individuals and small businesses. Bildschirmtext BTX was an early data network service offered by Deutsche Telekom starting in 1983. Later it served as an alternative to the Internet, but was discontinued by 2001. DSL Prior to the introduction of DSL and cable Internet, voice band modems and ISDN BRI were the most common residential Internet access technologies. ISDN was widespread, with 333 ISDN BRIS per 1,000 persons in 2005. DSL was introduced in Germany by Deutsche Telekom on July 1, 1999 under the brand name TDSL, with 768 kilobits per second downstream and 128 kilobits per second upstream. TDSL speeds were increased by Deutsche Telekom to 1,536 190 seconds of a kilobit per second upstream, downstream in September 2002, 3,072 384 of a kilobit per second in April 2004, and 6,016 576 of a kilobit per second in mid-2005. Deutsche Telekom introduced a DSL 2 Plus service with 16,024 of a kilobit per second in spring 2006 and VDSL 2 with 50,010 of a kilobit per second triple play service under the brand name Entertain in October 2006. VDSL 2 service without bundled IPTV was introduced in June 2009. In 2011, Deutsche Telekom introduced voice over IP VoIP services over ADSL2 plus Annex J in February 2013. Deutsche Telekom started switching existing POTS and ISDN voice service subscribers to VoIP service. 
In August 2014, Deutsche Telekom became the first service provider to offer vectored VDSL2 using G. Vector technology, offering 140ths of a megabit per second. In 1998, the Federal Network Agency established regulations for local loop unbundling, enabling providers such as Vodafone, Telefonica Germany, O2, QSC, and Versatel to rent the local loop from the incumbent Deutsche Telekom and to operate their own access networks placing their DSLAMs either in their own central offices or co-located with the incumbents. These ISPs either offered their services directly to the subscriber, or sold bitstream access to other ISPs. To compete with the incumbents POTS and ISDN voice services, alternative providers introduced voice over IP VoIP, bundled with their DSL Internet services under the name Complutantialis. Starting in 2004, Deutsche Telekom provided IP-level bitstream access to other providers under the name TDSL Resale. The «resold» TDSL was only available to subscribers of Deutsche Telekom's POTS, ISDN service. In July 2008, Deutsche Telekom introduced Bitstream Access which does not require the incumbent's POTS, ISDN service, enabling competing ISPs to provide combined Internet and VoIP service on Deutsche Telekom-operated local loops. G. Vector is not compatible with local loop unbundling, because G. Vector can only be feasibly deployed by one provider per serving area interface. The regulator Benedza conceived a «vectoring list» on which providers can claim cabinets on a first-come first-served basis. To prevent a monopoly, this provider is required to offer bitstream access to its competitors. <laughs> Cable Cable Internet access in Germany began with pilot projects in December 2003 and wide deployment followed in late 2004. A number of political reasons prevented an earlier market adoption of cable Internet in Germany. Until 2001, Deutsche Telekom was the monopoly owner of the German coax cable network, and had no intention to offer in-house competition to its DSL service. Pressure from regulatory agencies forced Deutsche Telekom to sell its cable network, however Deutsche Telekom took measures to delay a possible cable Internet offering. LTE LTE Internet access was introduced by Deutsche Telekom in 2010 and by Vodafone in 2011. As part of the 2010 Spectrum auction, the regulatory agency Benetza required bidders to use the Spectrum to provide broadband Internet access to regions with only limited landline broadband DSL, cable, FTTH access. For the purpose of landline broadband replacement, Deutsche Telekom and Vodafone introduced fixed location LTE service. Internet censorship and surveillance Internet censorship in Germany is practiced by law as well as the effect of some court decisions. An example of content censored by law is the removal of websites from Google search results that deny the Holocaust, which is a felony under German law. Most cases of Internet censorship in Germany, however, occur after state court rulings. One example is a 2009 court order, forbidding German Wikipedia to disclose the identity of Wolfgang Werle and Manfred Lauber, two criminals convicted of the murder of the Bavarian actor Walter Settlemeyer. In another case, Wikipedia.de an Internet domain run by Wikimedia Deutschland was prohibited from pointing to the actual Wikipedia content. The court order was as a temporary injunction in a case filed by politician Lutz Heilmann over claims in a German Wikipedia article regarding his past involvement with the former German Democratic Republic's intelligence service Stasi. See also Internet censorship in Germany